Hello everybody, in this video, we're gonna look at lists for the first time. All right, let's get going. So let's go back to labs. I'm gonna make a pick a prize program. One, two, three, four. It's gonna look mostly like this right here. If you're watching this video, you've already done this. Now let's say I want to add two prizes. Well, what do I gotta do? I have to make two new variables, and then I have to add for each new prize, two more lines of code, one for each elif, and I have to change each of these lines. So now my code is a lot less readable because it's longer and it's error prone because if I forget to change one of these numbers, the whole thing is wrong. What if I told you there is a better way? Well, there is, and I'll show you right now. So to do this, I'm gonna introduce a new concept, which is a list. And what is a list? A list is something with items and an order. So these Legos here are items, but there's no order. This is not a list. Right here, I have some Lego figurines. And if I give them the order, one, two, three, four, five, this is a list because there are items in an order. So this is how we use lists. Here I'm creating a blank list. The syntax is the list name equals to the pair of square brackets. And that makes a blank list. If I want to make a list with items in it, it's list name equals with the square brackets again. And then the items of the list are inside those square brackets separated with commas. If I want to use a list, I say list name square brackets again. So zero will give me the first item of the list. Wait, what? Lists start counting from zero? Yeah, that's right. The first item in the list is numbered zero. The second item is number one. The third item is number two and so on and so forth. In Python, you might remember the types. We learned about ints, floats, strings, and booleans. The list is also a type. The list is plural items plus an order. So here we have lists in action. I'm gonna make a list called fruits with three fruits in it. It will be fruits equals square brackets. For now, when you see square brackets, you think lists. And then three strings with the quotations and then separated by commas. And just to show that lists are a type, I'm gonna print out the type of fruits. And when I do that, it says class list, proving that lists are a type. So I can print this list. And when I do, it shows all three items plus those brackets and the square brackets are how you know it's a list. So next I'll make a blank list. And when I do that, it's just list name equals to square brackets and nothing else. You may wonder at this point, how do I add things to a list? And I'll show you that later. Don't worry about it for now. But so I can print out this blank list and you see it's got the square brackets with nothing in it. So next I'll show you how to access items of a list. And to do that, I do list name and then the square brackets again, and then the item number. So here you gotta remember the lists start with zero. So zero is strawberry for the fruits. One is banana and two is apple. So when I print out fruits bracket one, that prints out banana. So now let's say I wanna change one of these. Remember I access the item with list bracket item number. So I'll change them just as I would change a variable, meaning that I would do variable is equal to the new value on the right. So in this example, my variable is the list item, which is fruits bracket one, and the new value will be mango. So when I print it out before and after, you see item number one changes. So here I've showed you how to change an item. You may be asking, how do I add an item? Again, I'll show that to you later. The number one mistake that people make with lists has to do with the item number. So in this example, I'm printing out fruits bracket one. I think that's gonna print strawberry, but no, that prints banana. Why? It's because lists start with zero. So fruits bracket one is banana. If I wanna print out strawberry, I print out fruits bracket zero. If I get to the end of the list, this makes an even bigger error. So the error I get when I print out fruits bracket three is list index out of range. What does that mean? Well, the list index is the same as the item number. This is a computer term that you're gonna hear. My range is from zero to two. Three is not in the range of zero to two. So when I try to print out fruits of bracket three, that does not exist and it gives me an error. So again, this error is a super common error. If you see it, hopefully you'll be able to recognize it when it comes up. All right, so the last thing, it's not really an error, but it's sort of a best practice. And that that is, I'm always gonna name my lists plural or else with underscore list at the end. Why? It's because lists are plural. They have multiple items in them. So I'm gonna use the features of the English language to help me organize my code. Doesn't seem like a big deal when you only have one or two variables, but when you have 20 variables, it matters a lot. Here's the part where I go over the lab solutions. So if you haven't tried them out yet, pause the video and do that right now. All right, so here's lists one dash one. It wants me to create an empty list called vegetables. So there's an example code here. I'm just gonna copy that. 
My list name is vegetables, the equal sign, and the square brackets, and it's good. For the next one, it wants me to create a list with items in it. So the list should be named fruits, so fruits equals the brackets. The trick here is if I make the fruits, apples, oranges, bananas with no quotation marks, those are variables with no values. So I need to be sure to put those fruits in quotation marks, which makes them strings. So I have a list of strings, and when I run it, it's good. This next one wants me to print out an item in the list. It wants me to print out banana. So if I look at this, it says don't change this line. So I'm not going to change this line. I'll add a print statement. And this one is really all about knowing that lists start with zero. And it's about knowing how to access items in the list. So to access an item in the list, I go fruits bracket item number. The item number is two, not three. And when I run it, it's good. Lists four. This next one is about changing an item in a list. So I have a list already, and again, the code is asking me not to change this directly. So it wants me to change the last number in the list. So if I count them off, that's zero, one, two. But first I'll print it out just to be sure. Fruits bracket two is banana, so that is the last item in the list. I will change that item. List bracket item number is equal to the new value. And when I run all that together, it works. For the debugging one, it's telling me which line to change, only change this line. So let's see what happens when I run the code. It wants me to print out the last item of the list. And it says list index out of range. Hopefully you remember from the common errors part that that means that I have this last number wrong. Remember it goes zero, one, two. And if I print out item three, that is not in the right range. So if I change this to two, the error goes away and it works. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. And then it works.